Good afternoon, Year 6, and welcome to our final scientist that we are going to be looking at this uh, project, which is Marie Minner Daly. Now, we're going to be looking at her because, remember, as an end of year project, we're going to be looking at different inventors. Uh, so, two weeks ago, we looked at Alexander Fleming, and last week, we looked at Stephen Hawking. You're going to need to use them too, and the scientists today, uh, to create the research project about all three of these people. That way, you can give me some information about them and maybe tell me what they are famous for. Remember, you could make a poster, you could make a PowerPoint or Prezi presentation, a video presentation, a website, or again, you could make a Kahoot, as long as it's got information slides as well. Now then, keeping healthy. What do we do to stay healthy? Well, we eat healthily, drinking plenty of water, exercising, make sure we get enough sleep, and avoiding too much junk food. Remember? Food, um, such as cakes and sweets, are all okay in small amounts, in moderation. Now, we're going to focus on how food keeps us healthy. First, where does our food come from? So, chicken, potatoes, wheat, cows. Now, these are all food sources, so let's look at chicken first. Now, the chicken enables us to have roast chicken, maybe chicken nuggets, chicken drumsticks, and eggs. So the chicken is a food source and it can make, in various ways, these different meals. Let's have a look at potato. What different types of food can a potato make? Chips, crisps, jacket potatoes, mashed potatoes, roast potatoes. Again, so there is the potato and that is different types of food that a potato can um, sort of be made into. Wheat, breakfast cereals, flour, bread, pasta, biscuits, cakes. What about a cow? Beef, of course. Which in turn make burgers. Mints, milk, cheese, yoghurt and cream. Okay, but we are going to be focusing specifically on Marie Maynard Daly. Now, someone who researched the effects of foods on the body was this very famous scientist here, Marie Maynard Daly. She studied chemistry in New York after attending an all-girls school that supported her interest in science. Now, she graduated with a degree from Queen's University in 1942. She then took just one more year to get a master's degree whilst working as a lab assistant. Now, she tutored students for a year before pursuing a PhD. Now, remember, we thought that was like the, the next level after university, like the master's, at Columbia under the direction of Dr. Mary L. Caldwell, who was studying digestion in the human body. Now, Marie also chose to study the chemicals affecting human digestion. Now, she was the first black woman with a PhD in chemistry in the USA. So now she was a doctor and she continued to study the chemistry of the human body. And she made huge advances in our understanding of how the heart and the circulatory system are affected by sugar and cholesterol in our diets. Her work has demonstrated that too many fatty and sugary foods can make our arteries narrower and that can cause problems with our heart, can cause heart disease. Now cholesterol, this is a type of fat that travels in the blood. Now our own livers actually make some cholesterol as some parts of our bodies do need it to function. And there are two types of cholesterol. One is good, that keeps our blood vessels clean, and the other, well, is the opposite, it's not very good. It can build up and block blood vessels, which can be very, very, very dangerous. And this is a type that Marie Maynard Daly was very interested in. Again, here are some types of food and their amounts of cholesterol. So you can see things like apples and baked potatoes have all got zero milligrams. Semi skim milk, eight milligrams. Going up to salmon, chicken breast, chili cheese, and eggs. Okay, these are all types of foods with a different amount of cholesterol per 100 grams. Now remember, some cholesterol is good for you. Our bodies do need it. And that fatty foods and sugars high in um, sugar and fats 
can be enjoyed as an occasional treat as part of a healthy diet. Remember, small amounts and in moderation. Now, foods with high levels of cholesterol can often be good in other ways, including as a source of protein. Think back to that list. Uh, we definitely need protein. Um, it's really good for our muscles and our body functions. But if you think back to that list, eggs and chicken, which are very high in protein, also contain large amounts of cholesterol. So remember, it's not all bad. Now then, overcoming obstacles. Part of uh, Marie Maynard Daly's success, okay, was also to do, also run alongside significant events in the USA at the same time. So in 1942, she got her first degree. In 1943, she completed her master's degree. And in 1947, she completed her PhD. Now at the time that this was going on, a significant event in the um, USA, in America at the time, was in the 1940s, there was a decline in men studying in further education because of the Second World War. In 1948, she won a grant, so she won um, money to use towards her research from the American Cancer Society to study how the body builds proteins. So obviously she's well on her way, she's got her masters, um, you know, she's established herself as a very, very good scientist. But at the same time, in 1948, segregation ends in the US Armed Forces. That means that black and white soldiers were allowed to fight and train together. 1955, she began to research heart attacks. In 1954, at the same time in the USA, a law was passed to end segregation in schools. Although many schools remained segregated for a little while longer. 1960, uh, she began to teach biochemistry and she studied how age affects the heart. And again, in 1955, Rosa Parks refused to give up a seat on the bus, which is the start of the civil rights movement. And in 1957 to 60, black leaders and pastors, including Martin Luther King, uh, meet to coordinate protests against discrimination. Okay, so you're going to use the information today about Marie Maynard Daly to finish off your research project. Remember, your work must be submitted to me by Thursday the 2nd of July, that is this Thursday. Uh, you need to include the three scientists that we have covered in distance learning. That is Alexander Fleming, Stephen Hawking, and Marie Daly that we've talked about today. But you, of course, you can add your own as well. Now remember to add a little bit each day from now on. Don't leave it till Wednesday night. Again, make something that stands out. And of course, use your own words. Don't just copy and paste from a website. It's just a little bit boring. Okay, you've got amazing ideas for projects. I love seeing what you come up with. So please make sure you use your own words. It also helps with your understanding of the topic. Remember, all the information that you will need has all been covered in these videos. All the information about the scientists has been discussed and been shown. Of course, if you want to do a little bit of extra research, you are more than welcome to do so. Year 6, if you do need any help, please just send me a message. I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Otherwise, send me your research project as soon as it's done. And I look forward to seeing them. Thank you very much, J6, and goodbye.